Hey there guys, so another week of training, pretty much done dusted. So at the moment, yeah, Monday's heavy bench press and, you know, my two top working sets at 200 kilos. Um, hitting five reps and it's staying, you know, relatively, you know, strong, it's moving well. Um, over the next few weeks, I need to bring the reps from five up towards eight and yeah, I'm just going to have to up calories quite a fair bit, um, put in a little bit of extra work and, you know, just, I'm not going to say hope for the best, but just be really smart with my um, programming. When I say a few weeks, I'm guessing, you know, six to eight weeks. So a little bit of a, a bulk and that should finish off hopefully the um, strength block that I need in order to chase, you know, the thousand kilo total. Um, so yeah, just need the bench press, you know, to hit eight reps. Um so yeah, just, you know, putting the work in with that. The exis the assistant exercises typically after a heavy, you know, bench press session is either feet up bench um, or I'll occasionally do narrow grip bench press followed by some um, dumbbell pullovers. So again, with the dumbbell pullovers, I'm chasing high reps. Um, narrow grip bench press or feet up bench press, I'm sort of only around the 10 rep mark. Um, and obviously I have to drop the weight a fair bit. And then, yeah, the pullovers, I'm still keeping really high around the 20 rep mark and that's just to work more of the triceps and hit a little bit of lats um then normally on a tuesday i do you know the the stone squats i warm up muck around with a few other lower body accessory movements but um this is sort of a, a non-negotiable in terms of overall you know conditioning and just trying to in one way force the body to grow but just to get the foundation to really stick um and depending on you know how hard monday was will have a big impact on how the stone squats go so a lot of the time you know this can be a mental game as well it's 20 reps it's not exactly the most fun thing to do but um you learn to ignore it and you know if it's a non-negotiable you just have to do it you don't really think too much about it you just get the job done um the biceps obviously get hit really hard and again you know that's going to carry across to the bench press because you know biceps just help stabilize the um elbow joint on this particular day on tuesday i was really struggling with grip um forearms were just fatigued and you know biceps weren't really liking you know the position you know holding the stone but um yeah look you know you just grab the stone pull it into yourself and sort of ignore um everything else so in terms of moving forward, I'm going to have to slowly up the volume um, with this as well. I'll either do a, another back off set of 10 reps or I might just have to start chasing 25 reps for a top working set. Um, so that's Monday and Tuesday also. On Tuesday, I normally do pull-ups as well. I just didn't video them. Um, and I did shrugs as well. But again, you know, I just didn't video them. Um, Wednesdays, I typically rest. Um, not always the case, but the vast majority of the time. Thursday, um, heavy front squats. So yeah, look, I went into the session um, really not having eaten much on Wednesday evening and Thursday in general was just a low calorie day. So um, to come in and hit these with, you know, quality pauses and just, you know, not, you know, back down from the weight um, and not to think negative. It's just, you know, character building, I'm getting stronger and I'm just, you know, maintaining strength. Again, over the next few weeks, I need to up my calories and I need to send that up to five reps for a single top set. Um, and then Fridays is overhead press. I always, you know, do the one arm overhead press um, and I prefer just the one arm version at the moment. Um, it took some time to eventually work up to 20 reps and now as a, you know, staple, I can hit 20 reps, you know, on a Friday. It doesn't matter if I've had a big day at work, um, very little food. It doesn't matter if I trained really hard the, you know, the day before, if I mucked around with the, the kids and knocked out a few sets of push-ups. Um, it doesn't have too much of an impact on my Friday session. Yeah, it can feel a little bit harder from time to time, but you know, I'm consistently hitting, you know, 20 reps and, you know, that took quite some time to build up to. So I'm just keeping this as like a, a strength marker. Um, in terms of, you know, progress, I think I'm either going to up the weight slightly, work towards 60 kilos. Um, I don't really want to chase past 20 reps. It's just 20 reps is just a really good mark in terms of strength, endurance, um, upper back development in terms of time under tension, just holding, you know, position. Um, 
But yeah, look, I'll probably just up the weight slowly over the next few weeks and, you know, work it up to 60 kilos. Um, and that would be a really decent overhead press anyway, especially for 20 reps. Um, so yeah, and then after the uh, one arm overhead press, you know, depends on how much energy I have, normally I end up knocking out another set or two of um, shrugs and then into some pull-ups. This evening, I just did more overhead press in general, um, followed by quite a few sets of push-ups, which you'll see um, shortly. But, you know, Mondays is the heavy, you know, push day, push being, you know, heavy bench press. Friday is just a lighter version, so I'm just trying to keep the reps on the higher side. I'm not benching twice a week at the moment, just because I'm putting more quality volume into shoulders and triceps, because they're going to be the weak links for me at the moment on the bench press. Um, so yeah, you know, just needing to develop that. When a competition block, you know, properly starts and I have to peak the lift, that's a different story because, you know, Monday bench press volume will drop substantially and, you know, I'll be hitting two quality bench press sessions a week and then after the primary movement being the bench press, I'll be throwing in a lot more of my assistant exercises for one or two sets. You know, I keep all the exercises, but I need to scale the volume back. I try and keep, you know, the intensity of one working set up there um, but you know if I was doing four sets of something I'll drop it down to two or maybe even one and just make it one quality set knowing you know that I'm probably going to hit it again later in the week and a lot of people you know struggle you know with a competition prep you're trying to peak your strength for a competition the base foundation strength should already be built so you're just trying to peak the skill in that movement and that takes me about four to six weeks so you know there's no point in me trying to grow bigger in that four to six week block when I could be refining my skill for the the platform um off season and doing what I'm doing now is the time to get bigger and stronger and you know that's where I'm trying to lay all the groundwork um and then you know it just comes in various forms you know this was just a set of 50 push-ups you know shoulders were already fatigued I've already done a lot of overhead work triceps are already burning um but able to you know knock out 50 reps really quite comfortably this was the second set as well um you know normally I'd hit 60 reps for a top you know, set, and that'd be quite difficult, um, I could have hit 60 tonight, you know, and that's after doing all my shoulder work, so as a whole, yeah, definitely getting stronger, just putting the work in, um, and then tomorrow, I'll just see what training, you know, brings, I'll just wake up tomorrow and see how I feel, and get a little bit of extra volume in across, you know, the lifts somewhere, but um, yeah, this is just my training so far for the week, if you guys have questions, comment below, Otherwise, hit like and subscribe and have a great day wherever you are.